Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate leads using Active Campaign and Thrive Leads. If you have a blog or run a small business website, email is by far the best way to communicate with your fans or your customers. I've tried several email opt in plugins and email marketing services and find it quite difficult to set up until I stumbled upon Thrive Leads and Active Campaign. At the end of this video, you'll be able to design your own opt in similar to what you find on Groupon, Netflix, or even CNBC. Generating leads is one of the most important things that you could do to grow your business. Without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how to set up this system. So the first thing you need is to get a copy of Thrive Leads. So you can head over to uh, thrivethemes.com and sign up for the single license. I've also included the link in the show notes below. The next thing you need is to sign up for Active Campaign, and they also have a 14 day trial so you can try it out and see uh, how you get on with it. The next step now is to download the plugin. So I've already gone ahead and uh, purchased Thrive Leads and I've signed into my membership and I've already downloaded the plugin. So once you've installed the plugin, if you scroll down, you'll find here on the left panel that you have Thrive Leads added onto this list. So the first thing you want to do now is to go to dashboard. Here I've already got an example uh, working and you can see here it's got four conversions, but I'm going to show you how to create a brand new one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on lead groups and add new. So I'm going to call this Meadow members and then click add lead group. The next thing you're going to do is to click the plus sign. So here you can see we have several options of how you can start getting your leads. So we've got ribbons, we've got light boxes, widgets, uh, post and footer. But for this example, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a light box. So we're going to go up here and click on add. So the next thing you want to do is to create a form. So give the form a name. So I'm going to call this Meadow members and then click on create form. Okay, so now that we have this set up, so the next thing you want to do is to go to the display and set up how you want the pop up to show. So there's several options here and you can see this when we click the drop down. So here you can show the pop up after a certain period of time. So if you click on that, you'll have an option to choose the seconds. For this example, I'm just going to add, say, four seconds and then click on save. Here on the display frequency, every seven days is fine. And then the next stage is to go and edit the design. So I'm going to click on edit. This is where now you get to choose a template. So here I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. When you put your mouse over these areas, you can see that they're editable. Right, so this is going to be our lead. Just bear in mind that every time you set up these pop-ups, you need to make sure that you're giving the visitor something of value in exchange for their email. The most important thing now at this stage is to connect this pop-up with your email subscriber software. And this is where now we need to go to active campaign. I'm assuming that you've uh, signed up for your 14 day trial. I'm already logged in as you can see. So the first thing you want to do is to go to lists and then add a new list. This list is going to be called Meadow members. And then here you need to remind your contacts why they are added onto this list. So I'm going to say you're receiving this email because you signed up to receive a free recipe. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the list. So now that we have the uh, list created, it shows now here. And at the moment, we've got zero members. So what I'm going to do now is to connect the two. So I'm going to go back to my pop up and then click in this box, which says your name, your email address. So the next thing you want to do here is to connect with service. So I'm going to click here, create a new connection. Then I'm going to choose API. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step and then click here to set up the new API connection. So connection type. Mine is active campaign. So I'm going to choose active campaign from the drop down list. OK, so to get your API URL and your API key, you need to go to active campaign go here to your user and then click on my settings and then what you need to do is to choose developer. So here's your URL and there's your key. So all you have to do now is to copy it from here, then paste it and then copy the API key and paste that too. 
Okay, so I've clicked the connection and it looks like everything is okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on active connections and we can see that it's connected. Okay, so now what we need to do is to test and see if that pop-up works. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open this new incognito window. I'm gonna paste the URL of the website. Let's wait a few seconds and see if the pop-up comes up. There you go. So this is the pop-up that comes up. Once you fill in your name and your email address, what happens is it gets added onto Active Campaign on the specified list that you created. So in this case, all the names and email addresses entered on that pop-up will go to this list called Meadow Members. And then once you have this list, this is where now you can go ahead and create your campaigns. And this is what you'll find with a lot of uh, companies. They will send you automated emails on deals or offers. They are not sending you those emails one by one. They definitely use an email uh, marketing system similar to ActiveCampaign. By you implementing this in your business, you are on the right track to growing your business. I hope you like this video and thank you very much for watching.